This is Loop Deck. It was originally funded on an Indiegogo campaign and it's built to be a photo console for editing photos on Adobe Lightroom for either Windows or Mac. Now it was built specifically to speed up your photo editing. And from my experience, this thing actually does help with that. I won't make any promises like it'll double your editing speed, but this is definitely faster than using a mouse and trying to work your way down the adjustment sliders on the right side of Lightroom. And my wife and I both noticed a decrease in the amount of time it takes for us to edit a series of photos, like something from a trip or a big wedding. And I also personally found a newfound love for editing black and white photos when using a loop deck. My favorite parts of using loop deck so far are the tactile feel of the controls, the knobs, the buttons, everything, and how you can reset them to zero. This also had me using hue, saturation, and illuminance way more than before, especially when editing black and white photos, which can be pretty powerful. I also really liked the Lightroom plugin, which lets you change the custom buttons quickly. And instead of wasting my time scrolling up and down the right panel of Lightroom in the develop module, looking for the right slider or how to adjust something. Now, for the most part, all the tools I need are on this panel and I can quickly just move my hand a little bit, make the adjustment and then go to the next photo. Now let's take a quick tour of all the buttons and dials on this thing. They're broken up into kind of five different function groups. Number one, selecting. Number two, your basic changes. Number three, color management. Number four, the custom functions. And number five, activation. From right to left, you have a large rotate and crop wheel, which you can click down to get more precise with. Surrounding that, you have undo and redo, a brush adjustment toggle, and all the star ratings and color labels. Below those, you have copy and paste, the function button, which modifies custom one, two, and three, pick photo, which flags a photo or can reject it if you're holding function, and a zoom button. Back up top, you have the full screen toggle, color and black and white toggle, and the HSL selectors. These buttons toggle whether the dials to the right are changing hue, saturation, or luminance. Above the HSL dials are eight custom preset options, which you assign within the Lightroom Develop presets. So you could have four color ones, a couple black and white ones, maybe a couple film options, and you can set those so you can quickly change a photo to a custom preset you have with the push of a single button. Continuing on to the right are the before and after side-by-side -side toggle and export buttons. Below those are the main color dials, white balance, tint, vibrance, and saturation. Continuing down are the arrow keys to navigate between photos and another zoom button. This just leaves the main dials in the middle and the three custom options. You'll work with your hands hovering here in the middle most of the time to change exposure, contrast, clarity, blacks, shadows, whites, and highlights. Custom one is a dial, which I have programmed to dehaze, and then when I hold down function to noise reduction. It can also be programmed to change vignette, sharpness, vertical, and horizontal transform. Custom two, I've set to toggle between the library and develop modules, and then when I hold down function to show clipping. Custom three, I have set to toggle the spot removal tool, and then when I hold down function to toggle the graduated filter tool. I know, that, that's a lot of dials and buttons on this thing, but I think it's important to know if you're gonna get one of these, what it can and can't do. Having used this loop deck for a couple months now, there are a few scenarios where it really shines for me and speeds up my workflow. The first one is culling through photos to select star ratings or color labels in the library module, just like I could use the keyboard before. Next, I can quickly copy edits from one photo to another, and I can crop and rotate photos pretty fast as well. And lastly, the fine tune adjustments on the sliders enable me to change something by 0.01 or 0.02 really easily compared to using a keyboard or mouse. Not everything's perfect with this. If I can make a couple updates or improvements, I would add even more custom buttons or let me change them to pretty much anything that I want. So because of this, I still use my keyboard and mouse for other keyboard shortcuts to change things that this can't do. And I'd also love that this thing was wireless and didn't need that USB cable. And I'm also standing by so that this potentially works in Adobe's other programs like Photoshop, or I'd really love it if this thing could work with Premiere and the Lumetri color panel, because a lot of the sliders are the same, exposure, contrast, tint, that sort of stuff. 
The biggest complaint I've seen about the Loop Deck online in comments of other reviews is the price. It comes in at $300 US, which isn't cheap, and there are less expensive mini panel options like the Behringer BCF2000 or an X-Touch Mini, but those take more customization and setup. So if you're an amateur photographer or you're a hobbyist and you're trying to save some money, maybe get a cheaper panel, spend the time learning how to set it up and do the software customization. But, but if you are a professional photographer and $300 isn't as expensive as a lot of people are complaining it is to you, and maybe you don't want to spend that on a lens or more memory cards or a flash or whatever other thing you might need with that money, then the Loop Deck is a pretty solid option. Plus the Loop Deck for me just made editing photos fun again instead of feeling like a chore. I was just more into editing my photos and getting them to look exactly how I wanted them to than when I was just using a mouse or the trackpad. And I know that sounds really weird, but something about having it be tactile and how I could change the photos, it got second nature. I didn't have to look down to see where the dials are. Kind of felt like I was learning an instrument uh, and playing music without having to look at it. So I don't know how to explain that in any other way, but the Loop Deck made photo editing just more fun for me again. Special thanks to the team over at Loop Deck for sending this to me for review. And if you're interested in learning more about it, definitely check out the links below to find it online. Thanks so much for watching. I've been Caleb Wojcik and I'll see you in the next one.